In this video, I'm going to show you how to get Rocket League in C. So, there is two methods in order to do so. First of all, if you already own it in Steam before. If you had Rocket League in your Steam library before September 2020, here is how to get it. All you need to do is just go and open your Steam account. And of course, you would like to go to your library, search for Rocket League, and click on install, and you will be able to play it as usual. And you will continue to receive updates and features. For example, you can go here and click on library. And on these games, we can go and look for Rocket League. As you can see, I don't have it. If I go by any chance to the store and try to look for Rocket League, as you can see, I will not find it. So if you're a new player after 2020, if you are never owned Rocket League on Steam, it's no longer purchasable there. But what you can do is simply go and get it on Epic Store. So you can go to Epic Games Launcher and install it if you don't have it installed. And all you need to do is just go and create or sign in into an Epic Games account if you have one. And then we'll be able to go and get the Rocket League from there. So in the store, we'll have to go and look for Epic, oh, sorry, Rocket League. So here is it. You can just go and get it. And as you can see, it is free. So you can just go and click on Get. It's totally free. So, of course, you will be able to play it because it's cross platform play. So it is supported. You can play with people on Steam and PlayStation and Xbox and Switch and everywhere. And you can even, if you want to, to connect your Epic Games and Steam account. You'll be able to do it from the Epic Games account settings in the web websites, not in the launcher, because you cannot do that. Of course, there you can just go to your accounts, link your Steam account, and this will allow shared progression and in-game friend lists. You can also add the Rocket League as an example, in the Epic version, into the Steam library, but it's a little bit advanced. So if you want to do it, all you need to do, for me, I don't have it downloaded, I just got it. So in order, uh, in other words, I'm just going to add another game instead. Or any other thing, I'm just going to say it's a game. So an example, you can just go to the icon of it, right click on it, and make sure to go and click on open file location. Once it's opened, you should find the file location. So you can just go and click on that option and make sure to go and click on copy. You can go, as an example, and open your Steam. And all you need to do on your library, you'll find an add game here on the bottom left. Once you click on that, you can go and click on add an on Steam game. And from here, as an example, you'll be able to enter that location out. And from here, you can go and look for Rocket League if you have it or downloaded. Or you can go and click on Browse. Then go right here. And all you need to do, of course, make sure it's like that. You go to browse and click on place. Hit the enter button. And all you need to do, just go and click on or basically select it. Then click on open. And once you do so, you should find this right here. So go and click on add selected programs. And as you can see, it will be added to C. This is going to be the same for Rocket League. If you have Rocket League, it's going to be there instead of the, this PS remote play. So that should be it for me in this video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.